Rihanna here for HRH TV, and I'm with a couple of the guys from Sensor. If you want to introduce yourselves to everybody watching. My name's Haytham. I'm a vocalist. My name's James, and I'm the bass player in Sensor. And we are at HRH Metal this weekend, and you'll be playing later on today. Are you looking forward to your set? I am, yeah. very much, yeah. It's very, very metal out there. <laughs> I don't know if we're metal enough. There's always that grain of doubt. I think we can bring it. I think we're going to bring the metal. I think it's a real community feel here, I think. I think so. It'll be a Yeah, I'm always, thing. I'm generally present, pleasantly surprised, but I, there's always that slight bit of existential man of war terror, like, am I That would be natural, that is natural, am I metal yeah. enough, is the ever-growing question, isn't I don't, it, really? I don't think you can ever be metal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, have you played any HRH events before, or is this we, your first? We have, actually, yeah. We have played... Uh, What's the one in the, the in Wales in the sort of Hammerfest? Old Hammerfest, yeah. 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 And we've been to Ibiza oh, as well. Nice. Catch the yeah. phrase. Yeah. Heavy metal holiday. Yeah. That's, That's good. the best kind of holiday. Yeah, it was a, very good. <laughs> um, so this year, obviously, it's things are sort of kicking back into high gear for you by the sounds of things. Um, there's the free download, is that right? That, that's available. Uh, I... we've, we've always got free download. Oh, have you? Oh, okay. We, we can't get rid of our music. Oh. But, you know, just have it. <laughs> have it. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's coming up this year for you then? We're working on uh, our new album. Uh, we're still in the kind of writing process, uh, recording, demoing. We've got a lot of things kind of at the pre... Like, uh, we're, we're at, how far would you say we're into well, that? We're about halfway through the actual writing yeah. process. Yeah. So with any luck, we'll you know have something by the end of the year. Something new. I won't hold you to it, though, don't worry. Yeah, don't, <laughs> okay. don't. I, I'd, add al I'd always add an extra six months onto any estimate like that. Yeah. So let's either at the end of the year or another six months later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's just be real about it. It's yeah. Okay. It'll be when it'll it's be. It's okay. Yeah. There's plenty, you know, it's always coming, so... That's good. And, and how, how does your writing process work then? You're halfway through at the minute. How does it go for you? Uh, it's good. It's slightly more tricky. Haytham's now in Paris, so we're kind of doing it sort of multinationally. And, uh, but we are writing together, yeah, studios, computers, it's all doing what we much can. It's easier these days, yeah, isn't it, in it terms is, of yeah. the technology? Actually, yeah. the technology is just the Eurostar for us. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just come back and do it and meet in up. general. Yeah, take, take ideas away and write to that come back and like put it down okay. yeah what's so, the music scene like in Paris well it's a bit smaller uh, there wasn't much of a metal scene when I first moved there, there was, but there was a sort of budding alt weirdo kind of metal stuff all that slightly more left of center weirdo metal I don't know if you'd even call it metal it's just heavy music <laughs> okay. but that's kind of that grew and, and now that's almost like going down again so all those I don't know. If, uh, all the more, more of the um, uh, desert fest type bands. There, there's a lot of kind of stoner interest there, and there's a lot of people into that. There were people really into the doomier stuff there. Kind of more classic metal. I don't know. That's probably outside of Paris, oh, okay. actually. Whenever there's a really big metal gig, I've seen like Judas Priest there, and I've seen. I saw a Motley Crue there, and it's, you don't recognise anybody. They've all come from out of town. So. Really? Yeah, it's like the yeah. Oh, okay, the Paris cool. thing is a little bit more like arty farty. It's, niche, it's a bit more niche. It's good though. It's good. There's some really good. The good thing about it is because it's small. When you meet like one person, you basically met everyone. You they can you just meet all the good people and bad people really quickly. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> you can just pin them out. Good, bad, good, bad. Well, just the, the, <laughs> you, you get to meet everyone because it's not that big. Yeah. You know, you see the same faces at all the shows. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and in, in terms of um, sort of the difference between when you started and now, what's the the scene like comparatively? Would you say? That's a good question because mm. when we started out, we were playing like squats and free festivals, and I guess there's less of that around. There's more events like this, I'd say, that we play anyway, at least. It's completely different. I mean, we were around 20 years ago when we started, so yeah. More than 20 years ago, we started yeah. when it was really. There was nothing really like this. There was stuff like what you're hearing now downstairs. Yeah. 
but there wasn't anything like what we were doing, what we are doing. Yeah. You know, yeah. there was no one doing it. Yeah. Okay. So there was no events that would, we had to kind of just go where anyone would take us, yeah. really. Yeah, go with the flow, kind of. Yeah. 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 So we played with a lot of British psychedelic bands and hippie bands. We played with like Hawkwind and uh, Gong and Osric Tentacles, who had that just a well, Gong doesn't really have it, but like. You know, Hawkwind. They yeah. were like, "Oh, this sounds good." They they were into it, and uh, and then we played with some of the kind of more weirdo indie bands and hip hop bands and stuff. So it sort of spanned the genres a little bit. Then, yeah, in and a then way. we got to do things like uh, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Did a festival that Tool were on. Got yeah. to meet them. So we and then yeah, all the hippie By that stuff. Time and we were all sort of actually doing. That for me, that's not the starting out bit. No. By then, we were already signed and doing proper shows and. Yeah. So in terms of all, all the stuff that you've done so far, is there a certain thing that sticks in your brain as a highlight? Or is that a really hard question? Probably Reading 94. That was one of the sort of biggest things that we'd done that was quite overwhelmingly just mental, basically. <laughs> yeah, that was, that, in terms of size, that's, that's one of the biggest things I've... I can imagine. I couldn't imagine doing anything any bigger than that. It's forty thousand people. It's like when you see those shows in Rio, yeah. where it's just an ocean of people. <laughs> but um, I, I did like doing Download and Hellfest and these things. That was really, those are really good. Yeah. yeah. Download was particularly good. I thought. Download's always a good it's crack. A I think. Point. Yeah. So, thank you very, very much for sticking around with us this okay. afternoon and enjoy your set later on. It's Rihanna here for Hard Rock Hell TV. Thank you.